spotlight. She's been called a pint-sized powerhouse, and in her new musical on stage at the Coconut Grove Playhouse, Pia Zadora is putting her heart, soul, and past into her very own play. Too Short to Be a Rockette is a musical chronicling her life. Because I grew up in the theater. Sure. I started when I was six. From six to 16, I was working, and I did like 15 Broadway shows. I was in Fiddler on the Roof on Broadway with Sarah Mostel. I was in Promises, Promises, and Applause, and The Sound of Music. I was really a Broadway brat. You can safely say Zadora has come a long way since her movie debut in the early 80s. Most of Hollywood accused her wealthy husband of buying her way into the movie business, and that she had little talent. Those days seem to be far behind Zadora, who has since gained critical acclaim for her onstage performances. All that negative stuff in the past then worked for me. Because if I were just a singer, okay, you know, she sings well, this and that. But because it was Pia Zadora who, like, I mean, how can Pia Zadora sing or what's she up to next? I think the shock value really gave me that extra element. <laughs> appeared in Vegas and other venues with such big names as Frank Sinatra, B. Arthur, and Marvin Hamlish, who are all incorporated into this stage production. And with a 22-piece orchestra to back her up, Zadora is hoping audiences pack themselves in to see her. And just in case you thought she'll try for the big screen again, Pia has the answer. Oh, no, 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 please. I've You're had right. enough problems. Don't get me into any more trouble. The stage is where I started. I love singing. I love incorporating this and doing this. It's just, it's my passion. Thank you.